from the News Channel 5 Network. I'm Amy Watson with your morning headlines. Glad to have you with us. Today does mark one year since a man was killed when a block of concrete smashed through his windshield on I-24. Joe Shelton was on his way into work when the 23-pound chunk of concrete crashed into his car. Police released the surveillance video from a nearby convenience store showing a man they believe has information about the case. There is still a $10,000 cash reward out for any information that leads to an arrest. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 74 Crime. And happening today, we are expecting to hear more about what evidence prosecutors have in the case against accused killer Curtis Watson. He's due in court in Lauderdale County today for a preliminary hearing. You recall he escaped from prison this summer after allegedly killing TDOC Administrator Deborah Johnson. During his last hearing, a judge ordered a mental evaluation for Watson. And a new beginning for folks in East Nashville today. The Kroger on Gallatin Road will reopen after a multi-million dollar expansion. The store will celebrate that reopening with a ribbon cutting ceremony happening at 9. While you're there, also take a look at the side of the store. A custom mural that was inspired by the neighborhood was painted by the folks at the Studio 208. All right, let's get a check of your forecast. Here's Leland. All right, need to do some yard work, rake the leaves, or maybe put decorations out. There are already a host of people in my neighborhood with decorations up. Today would be a good day for that. Here's what's up with our seven day. Around 60 today under partly cloudy sky. The normal high today is 59. Here comes the rain tomorrow, especially tomorrow night, Friday and Saturday. Still looking at one to two inches of rain during that period. Right now, Titans, taint, Titans game day, partly cloudy and 52.